Hello everyone, I am Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. We've got Mr. Tater Buggin here today. And we, here we do a little bit of all kinds of creating. I'm the artist and um, part-time designer. He does a lot of designing too, the wood kits. He's my woodworker, my shipper. Um, he has designed a kit for us and we are going to finish it out with Paint Pixie. So, let me see if we are actually live here. I'm looking, I don't see it yet. Okay. I love technical difficulties. I know I don't see any comments up here or see any eyeballs on me. So, hmm. Are we, we actually on now? We're, I guess we're about to find out. I see one on here. One person in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Y'all give us just a minute to get get everything going. Um, Facebook has not Time been... Time for everybody to come in, get into the room. Yeah, and, and I don't see me live on my page. Um, let me go over here and see where we are before I get started. Is Jane, Jane or Josie here? Where well, we're on on Paint Pixie. I don't know why. Do we have people in the room? I am here. Okay, Jane. Um, oh, it take, takes a second to cross post. Okay, gotcha. Um, I'll let you. Ca oh, I'm sorry. You're right there. <laughs> um, check to tell me when we're live on our page. I'll try to keep up with that for you. All right, because right now I just think it's uh, me and Jane. How you doing, Jane? <laughs> Thank you for this opportunity to go live on the Paint Pixie page at the same time I'm live on mine. We'll just have to wait a minute. I see two people in there. I'm figuring that's probably me and Jane. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Oh, we've got three. I don't see... Uh, still not live on my page. Still don't see it live yet. I should get a... Yeah, you should get a notification. This is a new one on me. This is the first time I've done a simultaneous um, live. Hey, Lori, how are you? I was just mentioning for anybody... Hey, Rose. No, Rose. Um, just mentioning for anybody who doesn't know, uh, we do all kinds of creating here on our page. Anything from um, paint... Um, I'm an artist and um, I do mixed media. Honestly, I try to do a little bit of everything because I love it all. Thrift flips, but this is my woodworker and we have his wood kits in our online shop. And this one that we're going to be working on today is brand new. Do we get to tell them where our shop is? Uh huh, yeah. I'm just going to, you know, wait till we actually get rolling because. Um, Jane, do you know if um, if it's working? Am I on I tater buggin'? I don't see it yet. You had to come here, Rose, to find me. Hey, Patty Willard, how are you? Um, well, we'll just have to see if it works. Hey, everybody. Hmm. I don't see it working yet. It's always great when it does this and we just sit here. The state of the art electronics are. Oh, yes. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yes, it's great when it works. Well, um, so still nothing there, huh? Uh, still don't see it. Jane, what do you suggest? I'm not quite sure what to do. No, I just went live from the Paint uh, paint Pixie page. Oh, we might have it. Oh, might have it, huh? Here we are. Oh, did it ask you to go live? Uh, yes, it did. And I think I did. Okay, we're there. We're on Taterbug in two. Okay, so let me uh, get over there. 
Yeah, we got more people coming in. Betty's here. Hey, Betty. Okay. Hey, Betty. Carol I am... Hansing. Hey. The... We were waiting for y'all. Claire Hansing. We were having a little trouble getting uh, the coordination between the... The two pages. The yeah. two pages. Oh, I'm so scared because we have fun stuff today. Here they come. Here come our friends. Yep, yeah, everybody's coming in. Now. Between um, uh, the Paint Pixie page and Tater Buggin', they're all my friends, and I am so happy to see you all. Hey, Donna, Debbie, Jerry. Patty's here, too. Hey, Tarita. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Leanne. Um, hey, it is yeah, a marvel. Just here. Yay! And I've got Mr. T here with me today because he's, he's, when he does a kit on his own like this, it always helps me, him to be here with me to show y'all, if you want the kit, how to assemble it. I'll do the finishing. Really, Cindy? Uh, that is so odd. Listen, if anybody's new from paint pixie page we would love for you to give us a follow if you enjoy what we do here like i said we do a little bit of everything patty thank you i'm thankful for my tribe this thank is... you thank you for the comments on the sarge shirt oh yes <laughs> that was a... oh he you may be talking about this my shirt from bell lily his is not nope. i got his for him for christmas um we do have our bell lily link back with your discount code it's in my link tree. If y'all are interested in seeing what's coming up in the hall, you can find it there. Um, yes, this is Belle Lily. And I've got a lot of new stuff to share with y'all. Gail Chandler's here. Hey, Gail. So, I did a little prep work. I didn't want this to be too... Um, Boring. <laughs> yeah, monotonous. But let me tell you, and Jane, I haven't told you this yet. I, I, I dabbled in the Paint Pixie... Um, white sand the other day when we redid the tin and I love it so today we are going to use their brush little Frenchie can y'all see his sweet face too when I just was trying to get it on the table hey Francis from Vine and Silk Designs oh okay yeah we need to see his sweet face you go outside Sarge you go go <laughs> so I have started painting some of the pieces so that you don't have to watch me paint every single piece and I am going to finish them out like that one's almost all the way around so I'm going to finish these out what I have is mud pie it's acrylic paint from paint pixie all of these paints are from paint pixie mm -hmm. and this is that one of their metallics it is super yummy um, and I'll tell you Oh, y'all know I work with acrylic paint probably every day of my life. This is like butter on this wood. Thank you, Cindy. I knew you would have it right there. Um, we've got a Paint Pixie link as well if y'all want to try some of these. I chose Mud Pie for this project because this is what's going to fit our home decor. And I think I might do a little something on top of this and show y'all and see what you think, but we're gonna get it all finished out. So I'm gonna use the little Frenchie brush. This covers a lot of territory fast. I started, um, I went on to paint these legs because I told Gerald, I said, you know, they don't wanna just sit here and watch me paint each piece. But y'all, this brush, covers a lot of territory fast and so I just stopped and I didn't you know I thought well goodness this is so fast we'll be in and out in no time if I don't leave some but it covers beautifully that's just one coat and that's bare wood yeah bare wood now I didn't want to wa I hate wasting paint so I did just dry brush the rest of what I had on my plate earlier on this I want to go over it again but um, you really only need one coat of this paint because it covers so beautifully. Hey, Kimberlyn, how are you? Hi, Vicki. How are all my friends doing today? I have missed y'all. I'm happy to be here. Let me do this 
so I can say hello, Denise. This Judy. brush is awesome, Patty. What now? Judy Zappos here, Penny Williams here. Thank you. Hey, y'all, come on in. Yeah, it's a big brush, and it also has a pointed tip, too, so if you needed to get down in crevices, you really could easily do that with this brush. This is good for uh, all kinds of creating, I'm sure. This is this is the first time I've tried it, and oh my, I love it so much. I've got a couple of others to show you that I haven't tried yet that I know I'm going to love. Uh-huh, yeah, it sure is. You see how quick that covers? And this is just a deep gray. I have a lot of grays. I tend to have neutrals and then pops of color. I like pops of teal. We're doing a little um, burnt orange for fall and woodsy colors and a lot of the sage green and uh, moss green. So I wanted to use this for this project. The brush is called Little Frenchie. Yeah, Little Frenchie. We've got um, Little D here. Isn't that cute? I love that. I can't wait to try that. I love that handle. And then we've got Joy. And this is going to be great for um, waxing and uh, sealing, I think. Brenda anyway. Furrier is here. Hello, Brenda. And hey, Kathy. Lori Stevenson. Lori Stevenson's here. Hey, hey. Okay, so we've got those all done. What sh what should I do next? The bottom? Where's the bottom piece? Right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. I would say, uh... I'm going to see if y'all can figure out. You can't send stars today? I don't know what's up with that. I have no idea. Facebook is not been great here lately um it may have to do with me being live on two pages simultaneously i don't know i'm not sure how that goes That's Kristen. hey Kristen. and i don't want to be ignoring um comments from the paint pixie page so patty, patty willard says she loves shades of gray all, all 50 of them patty <laughs> <laughs> You see what he did there? That's Christopher Tate. Hey, Christopher Tate. Yo, there's our kid. Yep. Oh, she, Betty asked, y'all going to keep us in suspense on what the kid is? I was seeing if anybody was going to guess. Uh-huh. You saw I had four. Pieces. Tammy wants to know what we're making today. We Right now, we are enjoying these beautiful paint pixie paints that I've got now. This is acrylic. This is mud pie. And I gotta say, I'm in love with it. I got, I chose two grays this time. I've got mud pie and I've got um, foggy martini. I have to wait for my contacts to <laughs> come together. Foggy martini. Isn't that a beautiful color? Woo! So that's not, someone else said they can't send. Uh... Would you mind on your phone going to Paint Pixie and see if there are comments there that I'm not able to, you know, Jane may be commenting over there. Stephanie got it. Stephanie! Mr. T has designed a wood lantern kit for you. Just, a lantern, yeah. Just in time. Something with legs. <coughs> for the holidays. So I'm figuring you'll have it in time. For Halloween, decorate the inside for Halloween, then Thanksgiving or, you know, fall, however you want to do it, and then, of course, Christmas. So, it's a year-round thing, let's face it, but this is good, good timing. And the wood is, he sands it to perfection, y'all. It is so easy to paint. And it's already in our online shop the only thing that it's waiting for i mean it's there but i'll take pictures of this finished out and add it to the shop okay there's the base um what were you looking for you need to go to that's on her paint pixie okay you are on paint pixie uh -huh. okay good yes 
I want to be able to see what Jane says too. The brush is amazing. I watched Jane use this brush when she was live Saturday morning and she painted um, a bunt pan that looked like a pumpkin. It was so beautiful, but this brush was perfect. She had it all painted one color and then she would take the tip of this little Frenchie and go down into the grooves of the bunt pan. It was just perfect. It's very smooth, Michelle, very smooth. Like I said, um, I use acrylic paints every day of my life. Does Justin love it? I don't doubt it. I don't know how you couldn't love this brush. I also use all kinds of paint brushes every day, you know, and um, I'm particular about paint brushes. They've got to, I don't know how, how to put it into words, but when I start to paint something, I know right away, oh, this one's not working for me. And this one is wonderful. Thank you, Vicki. Um, he is, I, I, I don't know what I'd do without him. Hey, Regina, that's okay. We're just doing a little painting with uh, paint, pixie paint and acrylic paint. It's so pretty. I guess I need to, I should paint the bottom too. Um, yeah, you might as well go ahead. Well, paint that later. Once we get the feet It goes fast. There. It goes fast. It'll be easier to paint without having the feet on it. Leave a little bare wood where the feet go. You think? Well, I need a glue stick. Well, the glue stick on acrylic? It should. Yeah, uh, okay. We're going to find out. We'll find out. <laughs> I was seeing, Mary Lynn, I was seeing if anybody would say that again this time. It looks like I'm wearing two different earrings. These were designed this way on purpose uh, by Trish at Love and Life Jewelry. She knows I love asymmetrical earrings. And so you probably will find these in her shop, Trish. Are these still available? But anyway, she's got a lot of cool things. But yes, they look like I have two separate ear, two different earrings on, but they actually are meant to wear this way. Glue, jo hey, Josie, glue does stick to their paint. Nick is here. Wood. Wonderful. So Jane and Josie are the team at Paint Pixie, and they're awesome. Terry McGillicuddy is here. I've been working with them. Hello. Oh, they're sold out. Uh oh. Sorry. I should have. I should have asked her before I went <coughs> live today. Hey, you got any of these in your shop? But I, I thought the beads went so well with this shirt. So plus, I love them. I haven't worn them in a while. So. She's got a lot of great things over there. Y'all know that. Do I need to stay on her page for you? That'd be great. Just so, you know, you can let me know if they're trying to talk I'm to not, me over there. I'm not really getting a lot of comments on her page. Oh, okay. You'll just have to double time and watch here and there. Huh? I'll watch. <laughs> Josie's the owner and Jane is the creative director. Yes. Hey, Laura. Oh, the lantern says sold out. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to me. What? I will fix that as soon as we get off here. They went over to, I put the lantern in there, but it says sold out. Uh-oh. Okay. We, we, we didn't even get started. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Melissa. It's a bell lily. It's one of my new bell lilies. I haven't even gotten to shoot the haul video yet, but that's coming. So y'all get to see it all, but you can get it if you want to order it. Hey, Deborah Harris, glad to have you here. Yes, and I've got your 15% discount back. Yay. Yes, and if you, y'all, I've got a Paint Pixie um, affiliate code in my link tree. If y'all want to get in on these brushes and paints and go over there and see what all goodies they have, because I'm loving, I'm loving it. Okay. I want to just, I got a little crazy there. I'm going to fix that. Okay, now here's what I want to show you. Hey, Janice Olo. Hey, Janice. Okay, Blondie. Listen, it's been a blonde week, y'all. It has been a blonde week. I painted the little feet that is are going to go. Is this chalk paint? It, no, this is acrylic. Paint. This is acrylic paint. And um, the coverage 
is amazing. I know, you know, there's Dolly. Now, Dolly's here. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> I didn't see her. Those two have a thing going. Oh, that's so sweet, Judy. That is so sweet. He's doing good. He he baked a carrot cake today. This house smells heavenly. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was acrylic, Joe. <laughs> I'm the best. I'm as blonde as blonde can be. What did she say? She it said is? it's not acrylic. It's not acrylic? Oh, well, leave it to Lindy. <laughs> Chalk paint? It's wonderful paint. I know that much. It's it's a it's a little blonde thing. Oh, I, do I need to just stop and start over again? Trish said, "Now stop with the carrot cake." Hi, Elizabeth from Virginia. Oh, yeah. Here's what I did: I painted the little feet with the mud pie, and then I took. Well, let me show you the difference. I was playing. I took some of the foggy martini and dry brushed and then I took on the, uh, the other two I took some of the metallic white sand and dry brushed and I was trying to decide at first I thought no I just wanted a solid dark gray but then I kind of loved that look too so what do y'all think? Rush covered cottage. Stuff. Hey, I Christina, I loved what you did with our crosses today, girl. Thank you so much. Almost to 200, my goodness. Chalk paint with acrylic in it. It's the best of both worlds. I guess so, Josie. I guess this is so. Tr Trish, Tarita wants to know why you're not doing your devotions anymore. Um, so, yeah, the, you'll see when you go to Paint Pixie, there are the acrylic chalk paint combinations, and then you're going to see their metallics that I love. I am thinking, let me just go on and show y'all. This is going to be the knob that we put on the top. The knob does not come in the kit because we wanted y'all to be able to pick out whatever type of knob you want to put on the top. Um, but this is the one I have. It's just from Hobby Lobby on clearance. And it's a silver kind of shiny mercury glass look. So that's what made me think a little dry brushing with this um, white sand would be the way to go. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go real heavy on it. But it'll give it that just a little bit of sheen. And um, so this is going to be the part that shows. Carrot cake, carrot cake recipe homemade. Actually, it is a copycat uh, J. Alexander recipe, which is to die for. That's our favorite carrot cake. Yeah. <laughs> He's been craving a carrot cake for <laughs> a while now. So I just decided to make one. He doesn't care that I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> I told him I can, I guess, look at it. I can't lick it. Jane, Jane Belanti Art says it's chalk and acrylic paint combined. Combined. That's, yeah. that's got to be what this magic is then because, wow, I love it. Now, what I think I'm going to do, let's take creative license. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave this solid because this is going to be the base. We've got the legs here. That's how it's going to be. And, um... You don't even have to do that yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, dry brush just these sides. I think. What am I here for? You, the <laughs> important part. He's here for the. We have a funny, funny story to tell y'all, um, and uh, that's coming up. So don't, <laughs> don't leave because I'm gonna tell off on myself. Y'all know I love to laugh at myself. And, and for those of you that uh, didn't see Trisha's response there, unfortunately, she lost. Uh, uh, her niece. Was it? Uh, her niece. Her niece, yeah. In a motorcycle accident. And uh, so it's been a hard time for her here she's, the last little bit. But yeah, she's, she's getting so. she's getting back in the swing. Yes. Um, I'm just, this is my little tiny chip brush. It's just a little inexpensive chip brush. I'm just going to hit this with the white sand metallic just a little bit. Because like I said, this is the base. We used uh, white sand 
on the <laughs> on it. the um, tin that we remade the other day. Yeah. If you get a little heavy, go back in with some. Oh, Rita, that her paint by number picture was beautiful. You showed that to them, didn't you? I did. I posted it, and I went. <laughs> In the meantime, I went over to the one that's a custom of him and his deer, and I've been working on that. It's very relaxing. Yeah. I'm addicted, and um, I'm glad I had another one to start right away because I was kind of sad that one was over. So you can see, it's j I just hit it very lightly. Now, would you suggest I do the feet right now? This uh -uh, is what feet's got to be last. Feet, feet's got to be last. Feet's got to be last. We got to do the post first. All right. Let me just lightly hit this uh, metallic on these posts and let's see how this looks. I just want to drag it so it kind of looks, you know, a aged weathered. a little weathered. I thought about um, one of my thoughts was to do it in mud pie and then a little crackle medium and put this metallic on top and then I decided no I want it to look more I want it to be darker but I know the man who makes them so if I want to get another kit and do it another way for y'all I can oh you think you've got to end huh? <laughs> aren't these colors great together you know even through all the tragedy Trish has not stopped I mean she's been steady you know y'all ordered her for Christie jewelry um, that benefits her nephew and um, her that's really gonna help him out and her their daughter and um, yeah she's been restocking that and coming up with some new designs for y'all so she has been working hard too. thank you Janice this was uh, that was a gift from Lindy I, I hope so, Patty. My belly kind of hides it, but it says uh, Sarge's dad. <laughs> That's actually a picture of Sarge, too. Yeah, it's is... not just a... You can tell because it has the his little ear notch out. We don't know what happened to his ear yep. before we got him, but, uh, yeah, he's got a little notch out of one of his ears. So This will look great on your new porch, Patty yes. said. Yes. That's my thoughts exactly. Yeah. Am I missing anything? Any comments on the Paint Pixie page? I don't want to mess up. Oh, not so, uh, let's see. Uh, it's over here. Over here? No, there's not. There's more comments on your page. It looks like. And see if you got, you know, if if it got too heavy on one, like I don't mind that streak. It looks heavy in the phone, but it doesn't look heavy in person. Lori Stanley Henderson uh, asked what we're making tonight. We have a brand new kit that I thought was in our shop, but it will say sold out when you go there, but I'll fix that when we get off. It's a lantern. Yeah, she's going to get right on that, she said. Um, Mr. T designed this about a week ago, and I wanted to finish it out with my Paint Pixie paints, and um, they were gracious enough to let me go live on their page, too, and I'm so excited about it. Gwen Johnson, yes, I cut all of them out. I design them. I dream, I dream them up and make patterns and cut all of them out myself. There have been some of the kits I'll dream up and kind of draw out, and then he makes it happen in wood. But this one I had no part in. I came home one day, and he said he had this drawn out. And he said, what do you think about this? I said, let's do it. Lori Hamby wants to know if it's a whole set of paint pixie, paint pixie brushes you're using. No, no, I just have three of them. This yeah. is um, the little Frenchie. You go to their uh, site, go to my link, and look at all the paintbrushes they have. Yeah, there's a. I have to say, I'm in love. This is not a, a paint pick. This is paint just brushes. a little cheapy that I used to um, dry brush little little things. Those brushes are great. They got real nice wooden handles. I'd, yes. Um, Trying to figure out what kind of wood that is. That's uh, that's some kind of hardwood that they use on that. Do y'all know Josie? Do you know Josie? Can hey, you tell Jerry. Me? Yeah, he's a hardworking man. He really is. 
Thank you, Opie. She said she's going to catch you on the replay. Okay. Um, pretty soon we're going to lose him, you know, to deer season. We won't have him as much. Jerry, but Jerry Dunn, glad to see you. Even though you're a little late, you're not too late to see it all. That's right. And you'll see the finished product. And there's the vintage pebble. That's Stephanie. That's my friend Stephanie who did our screen porch door the other night and rocked it out of the house. Yeah. Oh my goodness. She did the uh, little haunted house. Yes, thing, with the she? screen porch. That's great. Oh, I'm loving this uh, metallic dry brushed over that mud pie. Oh, that's pretty. Judy Whitwood, Whitewood, glad to have you here. Yes, hey. We are putting together our new um, unfinished wood kit that Mr. T designed. It's a lantern. Thank you, Janice. It's a Bell Lily. I've got a link for that, too. I like this so much, I'm going to go on and dry brush this base a little bit. Um, yeah. Cute t-shirt, yeah. I am thankful for my tribe. Y'all are my tribe. I have a, an amazing tribe. When I saw this at Bell Lily, I thought, well, I have to have that. Uh, Deer Seasons... Uh is actually open now bow season gun season opens uh first of november okay mr t yep you ready i'm ready so we've got our base we got these don't we need to do your part next uh yep you can go ahead and do that uh, so you can do the top after we get th these legs on here's what he suggested to me you're gonna take your base and sit it up like this right yep and then you're going to take one of your legs and it's going to, you know, it's going to line up at that corner. Can you, I, I think you can see what I'm doing. It looks like they can see that down there. Let's see. I can yeah, see Yeah, go look, page. Lori. They're wonderful. I know we're going to start, Gary. I'll come on Friday nights and pop a um, frozen pizza in the oven for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Um, Sarah from Books and Button Designs did an awesome job with the open, little small open house too. We're gonna start with a little bit of um, hot glue just for an immediate hold. And again, I'm gonna have this up like this. We're gonna just put it, line it up. Just try to get it as straight as you can and lined up on the edges. And I'm just gonna hold it for a minute till it cools. Hey, Linda. Yeah, all three of you ladies are so talented and you really knocked it out of the park. Well, thank you, Patty. Oh, yes. I, we're just thankful for all of y'all. Uh, Will we need clamps for drying? No. Actually, um, watch this. Uh, we're going to show you how to do that. I glued it right, right to, to the, the table. table. Good job. Good job, Tate. Yeah, hold flush with the edge. All right. So, what I suggested was that. Okay, she, Susan. Um, like oh that. yeah. Glue these in place and try to get them as straight as you can. But you, you'll be able to adjust these a little bit when we put the top plate on. We're gonna get those in place and give it just a minute for that hot glue to dry. Country Wreath Creations, hello. Tell me your name again. I hate to just call you by your page name <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to remember everybody. I'm terrible with names too. And I'm trying to learn all my new friends who have pages. Rush covered cautious was gorgeous. Yes. They, weren't, uh, yes. they were gorgeous. Thank you. That was she did a beautiful job. That's plenty of glue. Three. Am I doing too much glue? It's just glue. enough glue to yeah, it should be just enough glue to kind of should hold it for a second. Uh, Kim says... Stacy. Okay. Stacy Vaughn. Glad good. you're here. Hey, Kim. I'm anxious to see what y'all think of it. Okay. Okay, and then... And we're going to oh, roll no, it to no, the... No, is it still it. loose? Mm -hmm. Give it a minute to, for the glue to kind of set up. Oh, there goes a little chipmunk along the fence. Hurry, chipmunk, before my dogs see you. Run, buddy. <laughs> the little chipmunks run between the um, the storage building where he keeps the wood and my mom's house next door. So, 
Christine, bear with me. Uh, we're we're going to show you that, yeah. We're going to get to that. Oh, that didn't glue. It glue. just did not glue. Oh, it me just try that again. did not glue. That needs to be cut off there. That's why we have him around. Because I make mistakes. Lots of them. But that's something you won't see here is perfection. I don't mind trying something in front of y'all and messing it up royally and then finding a way to fix it for you. That's kind of my jam. Because, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit right here. My regulars can attest to that. She likes things a little wonky. I do, and I don't, I'll never profess to be a professional at anything I do. Well, that's not true, you are. I do love to paint. If there's anything, well baby, that yes. one's just not. It's not glue it. All right, then we're gonna show you how to fix that. Please do. Stand it up, and I'm gonna recommend that you do one of two things. Put one small uh, finishing nail into each one of these legs, or if you have it. Now this is where I have a funny story after this. Now I could have, I just would have like warn me and them. I have a bread gun. Everybody, get ready for a little pop. One, two, three, and that'll fix that. Let me go ahead and do those others. Yeah, that, they're just not. They're not gluing. While they're up there. Wait, wait, that was not straight. Hold on, hold on. Not straight. Okay, go. One, two, three. Let me tell y'all a story. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't do well with loud noises. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> Those are gonna hold once we get the top. Okay. Um, so he was just gonna show me how to use that thing um, earlier, bread gun. it was about an hour and a half ago. They puffed the hair out of your face, and I, <laughs> you know, so he did one. And um, this is making me nervous. Good old power tools, you're right, Jerry. And um, so he was showing me on another little piece. He made a fake little fake thing for me to practice on. And so he let me try one. And I had just watched him do it. Y'all would have died if you saw me live. He laughed so hard. So um, I, I gave her the opportunity. How to did do I do it? How did it end up looking to you? Because I don't know. It's a blur to me. Because she went, as soon as she pulled the trigger, she went. <laughs> it was so loud and things blew off the table. And I'm scared of power tools. Okay, it's this one we uh, need to do. And so I said, no, you're going to have to be here live. You've got to do that thing. I, I ain't doing it. <laughs> I'm going to be like Heather Land. I ain't doing it. All right. Loud noise. One, two, three. There you go. So, yeah. little finishing nails, or if you've got one of those mamma jammas, go for it. It about sent me into a, a, a stroke. <laughs> so here's what we have now, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, now, that, they're going to be a little loose for, uh, Just when for you now. first get started, but we're going to put the top piece on. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, so, um, Michelle, somebody here is like me. Paint so the do you bottom. Want to... Paint the bottom. Okay. See, that's what and I got to Once we got it together, you can paint the top. Hey, Jenny. Kelly wants to know what you're making for dinner tomorrow night. And now we're back to our paint pixie paint. Um... You know, I was I wanted to do a little uh, dessert of some kind, but it takes uh, everything I see takes so much time. You know, it's bake it and let it cool for a couple of hours, uh, like the carrot cake. I thought about doing that, but when you do that, you have to let it cool for a couple of hours. We always give my parents. You know, when he has to do two, he usually has to do two of everything. But we always give it to my parents. Well, my stepdad is diabetic now. I know, Rose, I need to. Um, Good for you, Judy. I didn't like balloon pops either, Gwen. I did not like that. Um, 
so we can't give him a whole carrot cake because he's irresponsible with sweets. So we got to figure something out. Uh, Liz Watson got her order today. Glad. Oh, wonderful, Liz. Glad. Wow, that got there pretty quick. I love hearing that. I'm trying to remember what Liz got. What'd you get, Liz? Smash cinnamon rolls on the Blackstone are quick and yummy. Yes, they are, and Ooh, delicious. Yes, they, they are. are. So good. Didn't you do that once? On the brunch day? Uh, yeah, that was a while ago. Oh, though. yeah, that was yeah, our uh, yeah, out on the patio, our celebration and it was about a hundred and something degrees. Yeah, before we had the room out there. I love this color. They have so many beautiful colors, too. Jane, when you used, um, you need to tell me the name of them. It was the, it was a beautiful, almost corally orange and that yellow together. Oh, that was yummy. I, I think I'm gonna have to get that color combination next. Lori Hurst says uh, her husband has to ask to borrow her power tools. <laughs> there you go. There you go. V loves carrot cake. Hey, Becky. Oh, yeah, I love carrot cake. It's so good. And that's a teach me to use his nail gun while building. That's. <laughs> you got a little carried away. They're fun to use once you get used to them. Because you can put a bunch of nails up in a hurry. How many of y'all have one of those things he just used? I'm curious. Because y'all may have them. Chris said we're making him hungry. Yeah, with the <laughs> carrot cake. Chris got up and looked to get ready for work, and he asked Gerald, he's, what is that smell? Oh, she got the uh, the snowman block. Okay. Okay, now this is well, the underneath not, side. Not forwarding. What's not forwarding? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Liz. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, Liz got the... Uh, the little snowman that That's has, the right. little, has a little tea light in the top. Joyce has a nail gun. Lori has a nail gun. Jenny has a nail gun. Oh, thank you, Farmhouse Glitter. You're going to tell me your name. I'm still learning new names. Doris, I got that for him last Christmas. That's his dog. He's sitting right over there staring at him. They're inseparable. Yeah, to read a his works with the air compressor too unfortunately those things scare me to death yeah. see i should have known kathy thank you farmhouse glitter yeah. um i should have known all you creative ladies have it barb you made it here oh how are you who's that barb kohler oh, she's yeah. stuck in the hospital again gonna have to get a rod in her leg well, Lori, it's coming up on Christmas. You might want to ask for one. There you go. Um, so this is going to be up on the underneath That's side the underside. there. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. I want to dry brush the sides. Oh, okay. Real quick with my metallic. I want a battery operated one. They do make those. Uh, and Sarah says, no nail gun for me. <laughs> I hope he does all of <laughs> the yeah. only time I'll be able to get one is if I, I ever, and it's not gonna happen, if I ever got over my anxiety disorder that I've had my entire 57 years. Beth, we're glad to have you here. Yes. Betty said the only thing she's used, the only power tool she's allowed to use is blow dryer. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't allow me to use some because he knows me. He knows I'll cut my finger off on a saw or something. Yep, I won't let her get close to a saw. It's all right. And listen, if you get too heavy handed, like I said, you can dry it and then go back over it with your original color. No big deal. These paints work so well together. Okay, now I'm just gonna go around this outside edge, right? 
Uh, I wouldn't do any of that until we get the tough piece on there. Oh, that's right. We're gonna, let's go ahead and put this together. Okay. See, that's why I have him here teach me the, the correct sequence of events. So what we're going to do You take is, over. Well, I want you to put uh, a dot of glue on each one of those. I'll tell you what, let's do, well, we can't do one at a time. We're going to have to do all of them at one time. Yep. Let's see. Just get ready. Just a dot of glue. You didn't get any on that one. I didn't? Mm -hmm. yeah. On that one. There we go. All, all right. right. Then just. Looks like a haunted house one with all those spider webs. Yeah. Center of those. Watch this one over here. I believe it's okay. This one needs to come down like that. All right, so we're going to get that in there. Those are all pretty well lined up. Let's get a nail in those. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm putting two in that one. That's not too loud for y'all. One, two, three. And I'll let you line that one up good. There we go. Ta-da. All right. That's pretty. All right. Now, we are going to take this piece, right? Yeah, I remember how I told you to line that up. To glue it on. Put that in there. Put it It That's it. So what you want to do is take this off, put your glue here, and then you can this will center. Just get it straight on the, the little marks that we have there. Let me put this. I didn't have this back on the charger. Sorry. You can barely hear it. Good. Yes, Doris. This is a lantern kit that um, he created, and it'll be in our online shop. Well, that's really good. You can barely hear it, huh? <laughs> Lori Lulu. <laughs> uh, all right. I think this one might need one more. See that little gap there? What do you think? Yep. Uh, all right. We'll put another one in there. All right, glue. There you go, glue on the bottom of it. All right. Take the gun. And we're gonna put that right back in there. And what I suggested was to put the, the knob in there, but don't glue it in place, and that way you line it up. There'll be a hole to center that. Are you gonna have the hole drilled? Mm, I thought I would do that just to make sure they it helped them get that in place. I like this knob. Again, y'all will be able to pick out whatever knob you want to use and, you know, go get them while they're on sale at Hobby Lobby. You can order them on Amazon. But that way, if you wanted to put a finial on the top, you know, we're creators here. So I didn't want to include whatever's going to go on the top because I wouldn't want that. I want to, I want to make that decision. That should be in place now. Okie doke. Now you can paint the top. Alrighty. Bo sounds like an old man now. <laughs> Rose, you have all those tools. You're a single lady. You had to do her own repairs. You so, go, girl. So she had to have I admire y'all women who do that. I married when I was 21, and he knew how to do all of that. There was a lot I knew how to do. I had to grow up fast because my dad was disabled. So I knew how to check the oil in my car and change a tire and that sort of move furniture mow grass that was my kind of thing but i never dad was never one to use power tools so i didn't get to learn all that and then this one came along and um he was like i'll take care of you so i let him debbie tatry's here diane Tatry's diane i was gonna diane. say that didn't sound diane. right i'm sorry i should know that as much as i've yes. seen her <laughs> listen it Bo. 
Yeah, I do too. Um, Marjorie Bowring is here. Hey, Marjorie. She's freezing up on me and I have no audio. I've gone in and out several times. Y'all, that oh. I can't seem to watch Crafting in Grace, my sweet friend Debbie Robertson, for that very same reason. And it is maddening, I know. It's, Facebook is doing a lot of different updates right now. And um, you, we don't know from one day to the next what's going to work and what's not going to work. Every so. time they do that, it changes. Yeah, and it's a slow roll, so you never know what, which page or how it's going to affect. And uh. Hey, Linda Gardner. Gardner. Gardner, excuse me. Well, it's starting to look finished. Yeah. Yeah, Facebook is wonky, Betty. It's... Uh, I mean, it's the playground we play on, so we have to play by their rules and everything. But uh, sometimes, that's why I put our replays on YouTube, y'all. Um, a lot of times they're, well, they're, they are easier to watch without interruptions. So if you ever miss one and want to catch a replay, you can find it a lot easier on YouTube and um, watch it. Lori Harris even learned how to weld when she was 10. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> wow. Y'all, I'm, I'm trying to read those. some of those long comments. It's hard for me to read because somebody comments again and it zooms away. No, Rita, hunting season does not start until what? First of November. First part of November. Well, the, the season's actually open now for bow hunting, but I gun hunt. We have first time watchers over on Paint Pixie. Welcome y'all, I hope you'll enjoy what we do. We do a lot of creating of all kinds. I paint, I do thrift flips, paint. Mr. T does woodworking. Painting and vine is first time here. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. I would love for you to give us a follow if you like what we do. Mr. T cooks on Friday nights. He does a little bit of everything too. The YouTube channel is Tater Buggin. Everything you'll find me under Tater Buggin across the board. Um, yeah. Okay, now let me just dry brush this beautiful white sand onto the top, and we are going to see how this looks with the um, knob. The yeah, the you knob. You can get uh, different kind of knobs. Uh, that could go on the top oh, um, yeah. and you can get loops you can get uh, just a regular little uh, door pull or drawer pull like this is you know as a matter of fact where is it, it should be right here what you're looking for uh, i think i've got i was just going to show them if you wanted to put a loop you know like this on the top you could just glue it right on just, right in place yeah um, finial, if you're in a vintage shop and you found an old finial, you could use that on the top. Y'all are creative. I know you'll come up with some amazing. Liz, that's just pine wood. We try to use reclaimed wood whenever we can. I, I, I pick up wood every place I can. We, I, <laughs> I have a, a little tent out in the backyard that is full of all kinds of, uh, we try to salvage wood whenever we can. Yeah. It's just going to get wasted anyway. So he he um, planes it, sands it to perfection, and it's so easy to paint on and create with. I love, love it. There's the top. Is it feeling a little firmer now? Yes, it sure is. It's yeah. perfect. It should be. All right, now. So now you can glue your window. Let me just see what it looks like. Look how pretty it goes with those paints. That, oh, I'm so Show glad I did top, it that way. the top over there, they can see it. There we go. What do y'all think? I do too, Susan. I love lanterns. I was so excited when he showed me this one that he had come up with. Just should I just shoot it down in there? Yeah, just give it a little bit of squirt down in there. There you go, and then push that down in there, and it'll be there. Ta-da. And so, you know, I'm thinking, like I said, 
I love the greens. I love the, you could go on and do this one. And if you wanted to well, go on and do this, put your lantern together, however you want it to look, do a little um, candle with a skull or drape some um, fake cobwebs over it, whatever for Halloween. Then you can move it on to fall, Thanksgiving, you know, with a pretty, you know, pretty little candle in here that's not tall enough. Get you one of those Dollar Tree stands and paint it and put that on there. I just started pulling what I had because I don't, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to put in mine. Um, Christmas time, of course. I love this color of candle at the Dollar Tree. And so that is a nice height for this lantern. Take a little lamb's ear if you wanted to, cut it up, you know, put it in here, which I haven't decided yet how I wanna style it, but um, it'll have, it might even have one of the fatter battery powered candles in it so that um, we can put it on the porch, not worry about it. Glass vase with Christmas balls. Vicki, that's a great idea. Yep. Uh, oh, thank you, Patty. I'm so glad y'all love it. The options here are endless. You could do so many different things with this. Yeah. <clears throat> Pencil tree inside it. Oh, that is a great idea, yeah, Debbie. That'd be great. One, of those One of those little bottle brush bottle trees. Brush trees yeah. Thank you, Tarita. I was going to mention that. It's seven to, assembled at 17 and a half inches tall and five and a half inches square. So that's how big this one's going to be. Could wrap the... Oh, we got to put the legs on. We got to put the little feet on. Okay, though. I forgot. Now, the feet are taller. How do you describe that? It's one inch tall, three quarters of an inch thick. So, so that's not completely square. So keep that in mind. So we're going to... How do we want... I should have done this before I put the knob on. We can do it. We can do it. Uh, let's put a I'm paste gonna, it. I'm gonna put a little glue on it. You let it dry on both sides. I did. All right, so we're just gonna stick this right on here, the tall side with pet berries. I love that idea. Yep. All right, loud noise. And oh, the screenshots I'm gonna get out of my faces. <laughs> yeah, you will, won't you? Yes, you will. I thought you had, thought you had feet for it. Yes, and, and I almost forgot the feet. So with the feet, there is going to be 17 and a half That's inches That's right, tall. that includes the feet. Getting better with it. Yep, not so bad. Just Look have it to over get to it. Oh, you lost track of time, Trish. That's okay. That's okay. You can watch the replay. He'll do it for you, Dolly. He'll do it for any one of y'all. I'll get you to read what Dolly wrote. What'd she say? <laughs> All right, we're just about done here. What, Bonnie, you are? You came to visit Graceland. Oh! So cool. You're about 30 minutes away from us right now. All right. One more time. And we're done. Whoop, whoop. Oh, well, look how cute that is. Look at that. I love it. My table's, table's wonky. wonky. My yeah. table's wonky. <laughs> uh, so Dolly had said. What did Dolly say? Could you drill little holes in the top and bottom for us to put it together with little screws? That would make it so much easier to put together, like right up in here and right up down in here. I can do that. I told you. I can do that. And y'all remember, I, I could, this paint pixie paint. She makes some faces, doesn't she, Kelly? She said she loves the faces you make. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Lindy in Australia. It's two. It's not Tuesday. It's Friday morning in Australia. Now remember this. I used the little Frenchy paintbrush. Let me put that in my water over here. I'm going to clean it. Um, 
yeah, we've got, I've got Joy. And this is good for, and y'all correct me if I'm wrong, for um, sealing or waxing. So excited. Well, what's that one? That's, that's the cheapie from, oh. that I had. And then I've got Lil D. I cannot wait to use that one too. Um, let me show you my paint, Pixie Paints. Y'all go look at all the colors they have. Uh, and you saw how how easily it covered this raw wood. So I used Mud Pie. I topped it with their metallic white sand. And this is the other, uh, these are the other two colors I chose. Read that blue Java. Blue Java Banana. Banana. Look at that yummy color. This is one of my accent colors. I use, this is my favorite color I use in our house. And then I've got Foggy Martini, which is a lighter gray. And now I've got to go back over to their site and get my next order in because I saw uh, Jane. If you go to Jane Belante Art, you'll see a tray that she redid. I think that was last night. And she posted a picture today, but the two colors she used played so well together. Um, that it was a, they're very fallish, but I could imagine that you could even incorporate them into summer or spring. But the way she did it was just beautiful. It was an orange and a yellow, and she tells you what colors they are in her video, but amazingly beautiful, and I fell in love with those. So. Deb Worley is on here, hadn't been here a while. Well, I'm so glad and you're back. Cindy Clemens is here from Texas. Wonderful. I've, I've had a wonderful hour with y'all. Uh, I'll get off of here and fix the uh, lantern in the shop. I'm going to take pictures of this so that I can add that to the shop so you can see what it looks like finished. Um, yeah, Josie, catch it. Oh, you're, yeah, it's hard when you're doing them. Candied papaya and honeycomb. Yep. Yummy. So that's what I got to go order. Mention the gal with her colors. Yes, Jane Belante Art. Josie is the owner of Paint Pixie, and um, Jane is her creative designer. Is that correct? So they're a great team. Jane Belante Art. Go look her up. She's both on YouTube and here on Facebook. So, one top corner looks like it is not straight. We, we will make sure we fix that. If it's not, oh, maybe right there. Oh, look. I'll just turn it a little just bit. Just give it a little twist. It's give got it one nail twist. in it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll give it a little twist, and we might, if if it doesn't cooperate, you can put another little nail in there. But and so far, it's... And the other thing is, you if the legs are uh, and the posts are not secure you can take some wood glue and put in the joints mm -hmm. and then paint right over that yeah thank um, you diane yeah this was a fun one um i can see a lot of uses for well i mean a lantern we can decorate with lanterns year round bessie crawford's here from virginia and kind of late oh that's all right director creative director thank you i just think y'all are an awesome team and i'm excited to work with y'all they gave me an affiliate link for y'all and um it is in my link tree and i will be going and ordering more because i love it this is my director <laughs> thank y'all for hanging out with us both on paint pixie and um here on tater buggin I'll be back Saturday morning. Uh, he'll be, actually, he'll be live tomorrow night at 5.30 from the porch, I think, or from the kitchen um, to make something for y'all, cook something. And then I'm going to be in the Chuffed Berry plaid event, uh, Fallen Plaid, I believe. Did I do that right? Um, at 11 o'clock Saturday morning. Thank you, Dolly. And then I'll be back live Sunday afternoon as usual. And Linda, oh, Linda, Linda thank, you thank you so you. much. We love y'all. We sure do. Go Bye, to, Kathy. Uh, give us a little bit. Linda's going to fix that little issue in, a, in the shop. Go back there in about an hour, and it'll be f fixed if you want to order one of these kits. It won't take me an hour. I'll mail it to you real quick. You can put it together and make it look 
exactly like you want it to. Josie, I couldn't do it without this man. Uh, I could not. <laughs> what's cooking? I think it's going to be a uh, sausage and beef uh, pie, actually. Don't, don't make a face. You made a face. <laughs> When they do that on the Great British Baking Show, you know, and they call it a pastry, it throws my brain off, and I'm like, a beef pastry, but I mean, that's what a chicken pot pie is, right? But, but I quite like that. I quite like it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Love you very much, and thank you again to Jane and Josie Paint Pixie for, um, oh, good question, Terry. Uh, these are $27. That includes shipping? Right. Shipping is included in that. <laughs> Thanks, Vicki. <laughs> I can't control my face. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, give me just a minute. I'll get that in the shop. And uh, we love y'all. We'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye, y'all. Bye. -bye,